Oh, hello. As you can see, I like a drink. If you're like me and you like a glass or two, then what I'm going to say probably isn't for you. But if you know your drinking is out of control, then it is. I'm Robert Brynin. I'm the Chief Executive of the Dr Richard Markinus Foundation. In this video, I'm going to show you how a simple technique developed by the late Dr Markinus for the State of Victoria Health Commission in Australia can give you back control over your drinking. There are a number of mechanisms involved in addiction and what I'm going to talk about is just one of them, but it's one that we use to stop you wanting to drink more than is good for you. Am I going to tell you about some miraculous drug that will stop the craving? Uh, no, because there isn't one. Is there some clever psychology that will change the way you think? Ditto. So what do we do instead? Well, think about this. Someone who doesn't drink at all doesn't crave a drink. Why would they? But someone who does, does. So we need to look at why drinking doesn't only satisfy, it makes you want to drink more. This glass of wine, or this beer, or this vodka, must, when you think about it, contain something that satisfies the craving, obviously, but wait for this, it also contains an ingredient that makes you want more. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. If we could remove that part, the part of this vodka, say, that makes you want the next one, well, that would be the end of your problem, wouldn't it? But I'm sorry, we can't do that. No one can. What we can do, though, is to extract the special part of this vodka, or this wine, or this beer, or anything else, that your body uses to satisfy your craving, the actual part it's looking for when you need a drink so that you can drink just that part without having to drink the whole glass or can or bottle. And this is how it works. I've just been explaining that if you drink red wine, say, there are two factors that are in play as you drink. One factor satisfies your craving. We call that the positive factor. But another sets up the next craving, which we call the negative factor. I'm a red wine drinker myself, and what I have, not in this bottle, but in this bottle is my personalised red wine factor six. I'll explain factor six in a second, but I, I just want to show you what I do when I want a drink of wine, but I don't want a whole load of alcohol, for example, if I'm driving. And that feels like I've just had a glass of wine. But of course I haven't. What I've consumed is just the positive factor in the wine. In fact, well, let's say 1% of the volume of alcohol I would have needed to drink to get the same feeling. And I did say I would explain the significance of the number six, and I'm a man of my word, so here it is. The positive factor is individual to each person, depending on certain genetically inherited receptors for alcohol in your body. What happens in one of our addiction management centres is that the nurse takes whatever it is you drink too much of, it, it really doesn't matter what it is, and she injects a tiny amount of it just into the skin of your arm. Several times, each one structured differently. It doesn't hurt much. What she's measuring is the skin reaction to each injection, because one, and only one, reacts differently because it detects the positive factor your body is looking for in the drink. And by the way, she will repeat the test for each substance you habitually drink. With the results of the test, which is immediate, she can extract that factor from what you normally drink. Put it in a dropper bottle, and well, that's it. You just carry your positive factor bottle around with you, like I do, and now you can satisfy your desire to drink pretty well without drinking. That, I think you would agree, would reduce your alcohol consumption dramatically. In fact, by as much as 99%. That's why it's called addiction management. You're technically still an addict, but one who doesn't need to drink. Impressed? We were. It's why we set up the Dr Richard Mackinnis Foundation to make it available to everyone in addiction management centres nationwide. Cheers. Mmm, that's nice.